Yeah, so it's it's South Africa's attempt to try and uh, narrow down a, a sort of an Appalachian controller system. Um, it was begun in 1973 or legislated in 1973 so that uh, people could identify the various areas that, that wine was being made in. And um, initially it was just districts, regions and wards or regions, districts and wards, sorry, to get them in the correct order. And subsequently they then realized that they needed a sort of a, a, a larger overarching geographical unit. So if you're looking at that map there, um, that would show you a map of essentially the Western Cape. So that would be the over the, the geographic unit would be the Western Cape. Then you start drilling down a little more into into the coastal region, so that that area on the extreme left, which covers everywhere from um, the Cape Peninsula all the way down to uh, to Cape Point. But the good thing about that map is that it illu it illustrates that Cape Point. Uh, is not actually the most southern tip of Africa. That actually is at um, Cape Gullis, which is about 450 kilometers as the crow flies further south than uh, than Cape Point. And that's actually in the Cape South Coast region. So once you you've look at that region, let's just take the coastal region, for example, within the coastal region, you get other um, districts. So your district of, you get... Um, Stellenbosch, Paul, Worcester, Wellington, and uh, I'm not sure if Swatland is actually, yes, Swatland is actually included in that as well. So each one of those is then drilling down and becoming more and more specific. So if you take Stellenbosch, for example, um, Stellenbosch is your district, but within the Stellenbosch district, there are separate wards. Each of those are geographically distinct from the other. And the wards in this case would be Banghook, um, Bortleray, Devon Valley, Yonkertuk Valley, Papagaiburg, Polka Dry Hills, Simonsburg, Stellenbosch, and Flottenburg. Uh, 